Hello everyone, my name is Ankesh Todi and I'm a PhD student at University of Central Florida located in United States of America. The topic for my today's poster presentation is going to be high frequency thin film piezoelectric resonant microaccelerometers with a capacitive mass spring transducer. NAMS accelerometers have already been used in a number of applications such as mobile phones and navigation systems. Over the past decade, a number of improvements have been done in MEMS resonant accelerometers, but one of the issues that still needs to be addressed is their operational frequency that is limited to kilohertz frequency spectrum. In this work of ours, we have successfully been able to address this issue and demonstrate a prototype that was operating at 27 megahertz. The way we were able to address this issue is we divided the sensor into two components one consisting of the thin flame piezoelectric on silicon resonator and the other the capacitive mass spring structure. The, the T-POS resonator was a two-port resonator of which one port was electrically connected to the CMS uh, structure as, observed, as seen in the 3D image of our design. The bottom electrode is a free moving electrode which also consi consists of the proof mass. This design was fabricated on a silicon on insulator wafer that had a stack of molybdenum, aluminum nitride and molybdenum and the whole fabrication was completed using a six photo mask design. On the, under the same images, as you can see, the left one shows one of the sensors that uh, the top view of one of the one of our sensors and the right one is a side view of the CMS structure which shows the top electrode, the bottom electrode and the air gap. The COMSOL simulation was carried out in, in a two phase process. The first phase consisting of the CMS structure, applying acceleration to it and observing the displacement, then using that displacement to calculate the capacitance value and subjecting it to the resonator. As theoretically predicted, uh, with the change in the capacitance value, we observed a change in the resonance frequency. Once the sensors were fabricated, we tested the resonator for its impedance response and quality factor and subsequently rotated the sensor by 180 degrees to observe a shift in the resonance frequency. In our case, we observed a 600 hertz shift in the resonance frequency. In conclusion, we were able to demonstrate a high frequency resonant accelerometer that can be operated in tens of megahertz of frequency. This work was supported by Laurent Technologies through an NSF grant. Thank you so much for viewing my poster presentation.